Milwaukee Bucks at the Washington Wizards. And uh, we're talking big spreads. Of course, this one's pretty decently sized, as you would imagine. Bucks laying 12 and a half on the road. Wizards plus 600 on the money line. Total sitting at 228 and a half. Uh, I didn't get to anything officially here. Total did feel a hair high. Um, but again, and then, you know, looking at the first half stuff, um, you know, the Bucks have really struggled uh, in the first half. Kind of, uh, you know, a little complacent here, and that's that's kind of been their issue um, in general. I feel like they 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 get caught up in some sleepy spots. They certainly do have a high ceiling when uh, things are going right. Uh, Dame Lillard, I know, has been a little banged up, but uh, how say you, Chris? Any any plays here? Yeah, I see some value on the home team, Washington Wizards, who you can argue uh, to end the month of March had their best stretch of the NBA regular season. And, and, and I know, you know, they, they don't have everybody in, we're not seeing any Kyle Kuzma. Uh, but, but I think that's actually doing a good thing for the wizards right now. I mentioned there are players and a lot of these NBA teams who, who are, are playing to prolong their careers, right there. It's kind of their audition in these final two weeks of the NBA season. And that's, that's working out for the Washington wizards. We got guys like, um, Abdija, 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 but tell me, Adia. Alex, was it? Yeah, Abdiya. I, I always Sean pronounce knows. that wrong the first yes. time. I, I got Abdiya and me. <laughs> I got Abdiya and Kispert are, are averaging 35 points per game together in their last six. I got Jordan Poole and Marvin Bagley, the third, averaging 35 points per game together the last six. That's 70 between those four. And their fourth overall in defensive efficiency in their last six games. Three straight wins a week ago. Uh, they competed really hard against the Nets in OT. They competed really hard against uh, the Miami Heat, even winning that game by eight points at one point. And this is um, a Bucks team, right, who is second in the East. They're probably a lock because they're two and a half games in front of the Cavs, and the Cavs have a lot of tough games left in their schedule. The Bucks out also have to travel and go home tomorrow to face Memphis. And then they have Toronto after that. So easy games on their schedule that they can still win and not put a lot of effort in. And we know that they're going to be without Damian Lillard tonight. So in D.C. at Washington with guys that are playing with high energy and just playing better basketball, that's usually where you see that happen, right? You usually see these good teams kind of get caught off guard early. And then, and then, you know, they come back as the game goes on. We saw that with Boston last night. We saw that with Orlando last night. Uh, we saw that with the Timberwolves on Sunday against the Bulls. So I think we can see a very similar situation tonight. Give me the Wizards plus four in the first quarter. I don't think the Bucs are going to win that by five. Yeah, I mean, four is a lot to lay in the first quarter. Um, nobody beats the Wiz except most of the league. But, yeah, I, I think – uh, in the first quarter, especially at home. <laughs> yeah, I know, especially at home, which for some reason they're worse at home, which is just the home field disadvantage when you're bad and your fans hate you. Uh, it, it can work against you. Uh, noobs. How say you, I assume we, we have some Denny have Dia props to discuss. I just, I mean, it's not even just because I like hearing you say Denny Avdia. They continue to do a bad job of pricing him. I guess I'll start with that. Um, his rebound total is nine and a half. I don't know why it's not ten and a half. It should have been ten and a half for weeks at this point. I have him a little bit over eleven rebounds without Kyle Kuzma, with Bagley playing less minutes, and just them not really having a lot of big men here, and especially having to play against Corey Kispert. Avdia has pushed from the role of being more of a big man. He is clean in the glass. He's had ten plus rebounds. I think it's like four. Four out of the last five, five out of the last six, something like that. And the last game I had two or three that he just moved out of the way of. I was going nuts because I had 10 plus on a nice number and he just kept letting other players take the ball. But over nine and a half, that looks like a really number, a nice number on Denny Abdia. I like Chris's bet. I do. I, I have made a decent chunk on the Wizards here as big underdogs lately. But as we get to this part of the season, I have such small sample size for what we're looking at with these teams. Number one, no Dame Lillard. This will only be the sixth game all year. Milwaukee has played without Damian Lillard. It's hard to figure out what they look like especially as they have evolved over the season the Wizards no Tyus Jones a really important player for them no Kyle Kuzma possibly their best player at worst their second best player so it's uh, just hard for me to figure this out the only thing that I do think both teams first night of a back-to-back -back, the Bucks again without Damian Lillard here I think we're going to see a slow paced game as, as the Bucks try to keep themselves fresh for their matchup tomorrow night um, just double checking they've got to play Memphis at home but you know again another bad team but they've been slow in the first night of back-to-back -back, so the pace is going to be down I think they can guard this Wizards team if they want uh, this total just looks very very high to me I was shocked to see it at 220 
228. I had it closer to 222. So uh, I like the under here quite a bit. So give me under 228 and a half. Really anything 226 or higher looks looks like a good under bet to me. And Denny Abdia, of course, over nine and a half rebounds. So lag it up for Noops under 228 and a half. Denny Abdia over nine and a half rebounds. And Chris on the whiz. First quarter plus four. 